Being a Mini enthusiast, I bought a 59 Mini years ago, and it's a really good car, but obviously that sparks your interest in the cars. And one day I was looking on eBay, and I saw this two-cylinder engine, and I thought, oh, I didn't know anything about it. But anyway, I thought, well, it, you know, it's got to be an historical piece, really. So in the end, I bought it. Nice young bloke, he was putting the money into his Mini that he was building. Anyway, I bought the engine, so I've got a lovely cylinder head, which is exactly half of a Mini, and, um, and all the rockers and the valves and what have you, and there is the block. Well, if you set out to make a Mini, if you set out to make an engine, the two most important bits you need is that and that. Because to have the patterns made for that and the patterns made for that, and you wouldn't even know what you were making because obviously there ain't no drawings as far as I know, and I certainly haven't seen any. So I'm very keen to get these two bits. So I looked into I bought the mini book, you know, complete story of the mini or whatever it is, and there's a picture of one of these engines on a mini type gearbox. Unfortunately, that would be impossible because you could never make that and you certainly couldn't convert a standard Mini. So as far as I can see, the only reasonable option would be to put it in a normal car. And it does say that they tried it in an A30. Well, if you did it for an A30, it would be a lot more simple because all you need is a plate to go on the back of the engine, a flywheel, an A30 gearbox, and you're there. So that's the angle that we're going to take. Now the thing is, I've got an 850 mini engine and I've been looking at the bits and the bore is the same. So that's good. And the rods and everything I'm sure would work. But the only thing is because it's the crank shaft. Now I thought perhaps we ought to have a crank made and then I suddenly thought well do we really want to go to all that expense before we know anything? So let's try and make a crank. So what I did was I bought an 850 mini crank, of which I've got several because, you know, they're pretty common, and I've cut it up. And what I intend to do is to somehow or other get another mini crank, turn that off and spig it, the other crank, around there. So in other words, those big ends would be like that. And then this bit, I thought we'd either spig at that or spig at that, bore it out, and then fit that to that. So then that would give us the front half. The rear half I've started, but we couldn't find it, but it's definitely there. So we might wind up having to use up a couple of cranks, but certainly, um, no more than that. And then obviously if it was all a bit wibbly wobbly we could have it ground. We could have it ground and we could have the centres corrected or whatever. Well I don't think that would probably be necessary. And then the standard thing fits that. The standard mini A35 fits that. The water pump is the same which obviously will go in there. This is different, but it's only a canister with a bolt, so that's going to be no problem. The plate that goes on the back of the end that matches up with that would go straight onto this, because all the holes are there, everything. So it might be a little bit of jiggery. And then obviously we'd get a normal sup and cut it down and fabricate it. This is a standard rocker box. And I thought what we'd do with that, we'd just, we'd just chop it up, alter it, make it a bit of an angle, you know, we'd almost be starting with nothing, but it's easier to start with something, and actually it looks right, and then we'd have the cap, so we'd move it, we'd cut it and move it all down. So I think that wouldn't be difficult. We could certainly do that. I think we could do that. I think we could find all the bits, and I think we could fit the A30 gearbox. Now the thing is, I have actually got an A35, no, sorry, an A30, racing A30, which you used at Goodwood when they did that um, Academies thing. It's quite a good little car. In fact, it's a lovely car um, when it comes to rust and that. It must have been a beautiful car before they did it. I didn't actually do it. I bought it done. 
but there's no rot in the floors and all the seals are lovely. So it wouldn't be that difficult to put that lot in the A30 and we could start it up and try it out. I've also got, and I'll go and find it, If you look at the pictures in the mini book, you can see this was the distributor they used. And that obviously would go in there. So that was a fine finding that. The plate that goes on there is a standard one. The cam follows a standard. And I thought, I've already made a start on the cam. What I did was I just chopped the bits out of it and obviously we're going to join it together. So I think it would be quite possible without spending too many millions of pounds to build this engine to be a runner to put in an A30 as a bit of a crack really and it would be quite good fun to arrive at some sort of mini type rally and lift the bonnet and then it's got the two cylinder mini engine in, I think that would be really good fun. So, and I think this video would spur us on. So if you think it would be a good thing, subscribe and send us some feedback to perhaps give us a bit of a boost to get it done.